this park in northern Tehran, a dozen girls meet every week. They stretch and warm up before the jumping starts. These women are part of Iran's parkour movement. In conservative Iran, where women's sports are usually practiced indoors, the group is a novelty. We don't care what others say about us. Sometimes when we're exercising, they criticize us by saying that this sport is not for girls. Girls are supposed to knit or sew. They can't imagine that a girl can exercise just like a boy. Popular in the West, parkour is an urban sport that involves running, jumping and climbing over obstacles with acrobatic body movements. That is no easy feat in a country which obliges women to wear loose clothing and cover their hair with a scarf. I'm worried that my clothes move and show my body. I'm scared to lose my headscarf. Despite the constraints, the girls are determined to do it and rise above gender stereotypes. For many people, parkour is only for men, and they believe no woman can do it, especially free running. But our girls are proof that they can do it like boys, and sometimes they're even better. The dedicated train three times a week, and each move is practiced to perfection. Here, the gym is well equipped to cushion their falls. The number of girls attending the parkour course increases every day and there are now nearly 300 women training in this gym. We used to train in a park, and after a while we were given this room. The aim was for us to learn from others and also to teach them, so we could all progress. Then this course was formed. At first the number was limited, but little by little it grew. During summer, or the days when there are more students, this room is filled with girls. For these girls, their dream would be to practice their sport competitively on a national level.